What's up Legionnaires, welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing how you can set up emulation for your Lenovo Legion Go. So if that's something you were interested in, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Let's get right into this video. So to get started, you want to download a software called Emudex. So in order to do that, you just open up a browser. So you want to go to the Emudex website. We're going to open this right here. It gives you an option to download it for Windows. So we're going to hit right here. We're going to download the free version as you see right here. So after that's done, we're going to open up our file explorer here. We're going to go to download where it was downloaded. We're going to hit up Emudex. We're going to hit yes here. As you can see here, it's downloading Emudex. All right, so when you're here, you just want to hit custom here and then hit next. And then you want to pick your storage file where your games and stuff are going to be stored so we're going to hit c next it's going to give you an option of which handheld you want to install it for so we're going to pick legion go here and next these are all the emulation that you can choose for it to manually install so again i like everything that i see here so i'm just going to hit next and then also this is the configuration for all of those emulators so i'm just going to hit next as well and then we're going to auto save config hit on and we're going to skip this and leave that the way it is. We want a 4-3 ratio. We want a 4-3 ratio here as well. For the 3D, I want to go 16 by 9. Give it that widescreen look. For this as well, I want to do 16 by 9. Again, give it that widescreen look. So here you can select the front end that you want. You can use Emulation Station at this one. I would use Emulation Station, so I'm just going to hit Next here. And so here I think this is pretty neat. For everything, I'm just going to leave this the way it's set. And then here it tells you here's what Emudeck will do. Your installation path, CC. So again, it's going to install all of this and then it's going to install all the config. So we're going to hit finish and we're going to let it do its thing here. All right. So here it says read before continue. We're going to read this and then we're going to hit next. And then this lets you manual copy your game. You will need the copy of the game manually. And then open that folder it says, where do I copy my games here? Close. And then we're going to hit next here. And then here you have the option to bring the emulated games to your Steam library or Emulation Station DE. So I would go with Emulation Station DE here. And then we're going to launch the Steam ROM Manager controller hotkeys, which we really don't need. All right. So when it's all said and done, this is what it's going to look like. So here you can manage your emulators. So if we go to manage, it shows you all the emulators that you installed here. So Steam ROM manages is where you'll go to actually add the games. Once you put in the folder, I'll show you what that looks like here in a bit. All right, so when that is all said and done, you should have an emulation folder in your C drive. So as you can see right here, you have this emulation folder. And here's where you put in your games and also your BIOS if needed. For instance, if you want to run the PS3, emulator here so for instance if you want to run yuzu or simu you have to come here and again here's where you'd have to put stuff like the bios and here again the firmware keys just make sure that you put that stuff here right and then the roms is pretty simple you open it here's where you just dump the games that you want so as you can see here you scroll all the way down you see the platform that you want so we're going to look for switch as you can see here we're going to open it up and then you just dump your games in here so emulation rom switch and you'll see here i have sonic i have mario it is that simple that's pretty much all you have to do put the keys where the bios is and put the games in the roms folder and you're pretty much good to go so once you have your keys in the bios and your games in the roms folder next thing you want to do is just open up emudeck then you want to go to Steam ROM Manager. So there's two different ways you can do this. You can have the game port to Steam. I use Steam a lot, so I just like to have my games port to Steam. So I'm just going to launch Steam ROM Manager here. All right, so again, you can use Emulation Station here. So what you want to do here is you want to find the emulator that you want the games to show up at. So so here's the user emulator here. I'm going to go to add games. And again, because I have those games already added to the folder, I do parse and they show up right here. So as you can see this Sonic and this is Mario. So next thing you want to do is just save it to Steam. 
And then by doing so, it then shows up in your Steam library. So I'll show you guys what that looks like here. So if I was to open up Steam, game will show up here in my library. So you can see it here, Super Mario Wanda, and I can just play it from here. Again, Nintendo Switch, Yuzu, here's the Sonic as well. So again, all I have to do is just hit play, and it's that simple, good to go right into this. All right, so here we have Super Mario Bros. Wanda running under Lenovo Legion Go. Using this method, as you can see, it's pretty simple to do and it just works flawless. But yeah, I'll show you guys our PCS3 here. And this is another one that was able to use Emmy Deck to get. Again, with this, you have to get the firmware and you come here to file and you install the firmware. Again, just Google search PS3 firmware and you should be able to download that. And then again, next thing with this one. All you have to do is go to your C drive or wherever you saved Emmy deck as, and then you just have to put the game where it belongs, right? So open up C, go to emulation here, and then search for ROMs, and then find PS3 emulation, and then throw your ROM in there as well. And by doing so, those games will show up onto your Steam library to play. Or if you just want to manually add the game up you can just add it through here boot it through here so this is god of war we're just gonna hit start and you're gonna see it just to a stem. so this is how i'm able to play my ps3 emulation on the legion go so it's that simple all right fellas so that is the easiest way to get all of the emulation this pretty much has every single emulation that you want and i feel like one of the best ways to emulate on your legion go let me know what your thoughts are do you guys find this video helpful Appreciate you guys. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Until next time, peace out.